The first thing that I like to find when I'm graphing one of these rational functions is I want to find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are whatever would make the top the numerator of my fraction equal to zero. So I'm literally going to set the top equal to zero and then solve. In this case, I'm solving the equation 2x squared equals zero. So I'll divide both sides by two and get x squared equals zero. And then I'll take a square root and end up with x equals zero. Um, normally when we take a square root, we put plus or minus in front of our solution. There's no such thing as plus or minus zero, so I'm going to say my only x-intercept is zero. Uh, now what I like to do, because this is a coordinate, I like to write it as a coordinate. It's zero comma zero. So let me go ahead and plot that point. I don't know much about this graph, but I know there's going to be a point on the graph right there. It's going to cross the origin. All right, next up what I'm going to do is move down to the bottom of the fraction and set the denominator equal to zero. Uh, anything that would make the bottom of the fraction zero is going to be my vertical asymptote. There'll be breaks in the graph because I cannot have a denominator of zero. Uh, I could solve this algebraically or by graphing. I suppose I'll show you both methods. So solving this algebraically, I'll add nine to both sides. So I get x squared equals nine. And then I'll take a square root. And as we just said, there's going to be two answers when you take the square root. Uh, positive three and negative three would both work. So it turns out there are two vertical asymptotes this time. There'll be two breaks in the graph at three and at negative three. So let's go ahead and get those drawn in as well. So one, two, three. So there'll be, there'll be a break in the graph right there. And there'll be a break in the graph at positive three. So I've divided the graph up into a few different sections right now. Remember, these many of these rational functions are very bizarre looking. Uh, I told you I'd show you how to factor this, so let's mention that real quick too. This is the difference of two squares. So you may recall that difference of two squares factored uh, by taking square roots. So the square root of x squared is x. Uh, the square root of 9 is 3, and the only difference in those parentheses is 1 is plus and 1 is minus. So there's another way that might remind you that there's actually two answers to this problem, not just one. Uh, for the final part of this, I'm going to find my horizontal asymptote. And to do this, it depends on the degree, the highest exponent of the top and bottom. Uh, the degree of the numerator is 2, because that was my highest exponent. Uh, and in the denominator, my degree is also 2. Well, according to the chart we just looked at, uh, when you have an equal degree in top and bottom, bottom, the rule is to uh, basically do what we did um, yesterday and cover up and divide everything uh, except the leading coefficients. So I'm going to ignore everything except the leading coefficients. I know this is getting really messy, but bear with me. Uh, cover up everything but the numbers in front and divide them. So 2 divided by 1 is, of course, just 2. So I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. So let me go ahead and draw that. And as you can see, we've now divided the graph up into six different sections. Um, to actually see what this looks like, I'm going to have to graph this on my graphing calculator. So let's switch over and see what that looks like, and then we'll uh, finish with just making a sketch of what this graph looks like.